Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Had a few of these already, Yamaha YBR125s. Mark 1, Mark 2, and this is the Mark 3. Now maybe ask yourself, what did Yamaha do to the Mark 3? Did they change the size of the front and rear wheels? Um, no. Did they increase the cubic capacity of the engine? Still a 125, 10, just a little bit over brake horsepower, so no. Bigger tank capacity. Nope, still 13 litres. Change the clocks. Well, for the Mark 1 they did, but Mark 2 and 3, exactly the same clocks. The overall size, wheelbase, weight, height. <sighs> You're getting the picture here. They didn't change practically anything on this bike, except the front headlight, which made it look like Lex Moto. Um, yeah. A little bit disappointing if I'm honest with you. Um, the Mark III, they are the same price and the only change I can honestly see is the front headlight. Now, okay, you've noticed straight away this one is damaged slightly. Do you remember, if you watched my previous videos on this YBR, I had a lot of hassle with ignition. In there, you can just about see a barrel and this is what they've been turning it on off with. So I know they went and bought an ignition, 13, 14 pound one, and it wouldn't work it's a mark one and a mark two injection non-injection and even when i bought the injection one it still didn't work you have to go ome for these for some reason the wiring is completely different you'll blow the fuse damage the bike all for the bloody ignition and if i remember rightly in my last video i spent ages trying to sort it out so i know you need to go and buy a proper one so what is great about these bikes well if i'm honest with you it is the engine they are pretty much bomb proof they just last forever. There's a few little tacky bits and bobs that need doing with this one. So let's go through what I'm going to be doing with this bike. Cleaning and spraying these up. This is the hardest thing I've got to decide. I can get one of these for about 40 quid. I can get a new headlight for about 40 pounds. Or I can get a whole complete two bits of this for about 80 odd quid. So 38 for one of these, some are 60. 120 pounds to replace this. Or do I just buy a round headlight and stick it back on? Because the 2014 model, there are some the same as this. I'm really, really struggling what to do. If they'd made a lot of changes to the bike, I think I'd definitely be keeping it as it was. So I'm deciding whether to make it go round headlight and get all the fitments, or change the whole front end, or replace the originals and keep looking as a Mark III. God, these wheels are so, so skinny, but very good condition. Touch up front forks, clean the rusty exhaust, spray and clean the carb, although it's injection, just make it look all better and nice and shiny. Take off a few parts of here, take this off, take that off, rub them down and blow them over black and put them back on. Clean this up as well. Clean up. Back tyre's very good condition anyway. Clean up in there. Clean and take that off and spray it up. Chain's good. Just clean that up, spray it, clean that up. Battery off, charge this, just left it hanging. I mean, personally, I think even if it had placed it in like that, this sensor lets no bike when it's warm, so at least put it into the frame. I don't know what happened here. He said it broke, leaked, I'm not quite sure, but he made this, which is nice, doesn't leak. Again, tidied engine up. Make this look pretty as well. Clean that rust off. All round, yeah. Little bits and bobs, TLC, stuff I like to do. So there's a really quick look around this little YBR125. Disappointingly, no change really from the Mark 1 to Mark 2 to Mark 3, except the clocks. Engine's the same. I know they say it ain't broke, don't fix it, but it'd be nice if we get a little bit more oomph. I think they stuck it all for the fairing version of these that does go a little bit faster. Top speed around about 65 mile an hour on these. Um, but again, they just keep going. They were built really for miles per gallon, not miles per hour. So I'm not going to mess around with anything else. I will give it a service. Really, really easy on these. Oil change, filter, air filter and plug. That's a must. So do check out my next up and coming video. See what I did to the front. See what I decided to do. Change it, clean it, make it round or buy all new parts for it. Difficulty is... £200 worth of gear on the front here and you're going to have to add £200 to the price of the bike then makes it shop price as it were so whether I do a little bit of wangling around here I don't know yet so check out the upcoming video and uh, see the TLC I've done to this little bike right nice and simple video 
quick look round it. I wish I could give you more specs and stuff, but there just isn't. 13 litre, 10 brake horsepower, same little skinny tyres, and they should do 70 to 80 miles to the gallon on these little things. That's what they were built for. But they are bomb proof. They are better than the Lexmoto ones that will go wrong. And they're a bit more hardy, although this looks rusty. It's four years old, but still stand up a lot, lot better than the cheaper versions. Right, stop babbling. Like, share, subscribe. Check out my next one.